All right, it's Wednesday, May 13th already. Time's a flying. Having a good time. Time to feed the girls and the babies. Oh, tight fit. We'll give them some oyster shell and chicken scratch, make them all go, get excited, feed the babies. Excited there. We got us a delivery. Gotta check that out. Nothing's getting in that lid, I'll tell you that. Nothing's gonna get in that trash can. I ordered some uh, solar lighting, some motion lights, so this should be fun. So it's getting there. These are motion solar lights that I ordered and get two for about $74, I don't believe it was. At Walmart.com. what that is Great, good size lights light there. It's activated with the uh, little motion sensor there. So that's cool. We'll have to get my screw gun out and mount this baby. Have a nice uh, on off button down here, waterproof. 
then your uh, settings that you set for your motion sensor. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, we bought two of them. Get two of them for about seventy-two dollars at Walmart.com. So that's sweet. And they are pretty easy to install. Not that difficult. Just have to find a place to put it. Without blinding the neighbors. Really just want it to really come on here. I think I might just install Install it on the roof. Install it on the roof of the coop or something. figure out where to where's the best spot for this thing could put it right here or something find a good angle That's the neat thing about these solar lights here, these motion lights. You find your spot that you want it. I think I uh, could put one right here. This is a wedge light, motion light that will shine down here. This light here will be to give me light for when I walk up at night if I'm coming home late for something and I walk up it'll give me a light to see my keyhole see my keyhole for my travel trailer um, but yeah you mount your light and then you have your solar panel right here and you can mount this where you'll have the best light for your solar panel. So, so either way, it works out pretty sweet. And that just plugs in right underneath here. Solar panel plugs in a rod underneath the sensor there. So you just really need a screw gun. Find your lighting mount where you want to mount your light. It looks like you have lots of cord. Uh, let's see how long of a cord you have here.
And it looks like you probably got at least six feet of a cord to your solar light, so or from your solar panel to your light, so you got plenty of cord to find a good location for your solar panel. That's awesome. I do like these LD lights, they are nice and bright. They put the spot on the light there. So, we will figure out where to put one of these lights, and uh, I've got an extra one, so that's nice. So, if I decide to. Uh, I need a little bit more security. I can do that. Install that light. So. Pretty neat. But yeah, it's uh, been a nice morning. We're starting to warm up a bit. So, yeah, well figure out where to put this light which would be good for uh, walking up my trail cams have uh, night vision on them so I don't want to blind my night vision with a big old spotlight that will disturb my uh, trail cams photos so and I don't want to uh, have my light so bright it's gonna go into somebody's uh, rig. Nothing more annoying than having a stupid.